Hello, my children. Or I'd be like Cookie and say, Hi, lovelies. <laughs> Cookie, you ever watch this? I love you. <laughs> Y'all should watch Cookie. She knows a lot about uh, a lot of things. She's pretty. She's a pretty smart cookie. <laughs> that was a knee slapper. <laughs> okay, first I want to say one thing before we... Well, I'm gonna, we're going to do Ezra 2. I mean 3, I'm sorry. We already did 2. So we're going to take a look at Ezra 3. Okay, these are very important books, all right? See, I'm picking my face. You know, you know, I don't have a makeup guy here with powder and everything, you know. It's not a big Hollywood production here, Illuminati production. You know, this is just a... Bada bada production. <laughs> All right. I want to say something first. Very important. What I said before in Illuminati Liars that if any of our great spirits of wisdom are ministering to these Illuminati people, uh, that they would be traitors, that was a very ignorant thing for me to say. And I'm taking that back. Okay. We don't know all the answers, my children. I don't have all the answers, my children. We don't know all the ins and outs, everything that's going on. You know, in our wisdom, don't forget, these spirits have been attacked for hundreds of thousands of years, my children. You know, who am I to think that I could match that wisdom? I mean, don't forget, my children, I got annihilated. <laughs> when I was born, I didn't know who I was. I just didn't realize who I was. Well, people came up to me all my life and said, do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? And I was like, well, yeah, I told my name. And they would just laugh and drive away. So, I mean, I knew something was fishy and then, of course, Gang stalking people bothering me. I kept saying, why do these people keep bothering me? You know. And then when one of the uh, treacherous tramp crack queen sisters told me, uh, oh, she said, you want to go to hell? I said, what? I don't want to go to hell. What do you mean? And she said, yeah. She said, it's not a punishment. It's a privilege. She said, but it's only for the rich and famous. I said, well, I'm not rich. I'm not famous. Well, what the hell you want me for? He said, oh, we can't tell you because then you get a big head. So after I heard that, I was like, well, wait a minute. You know, hold on. Hold the phones here. Let me do a little closer investigation. Try to figure out what's the deal. You know. Anyways. Okay, let's take a look at Chapter 3. So I want to get that, you know... And I, I, I don't know if I read this. This is a very important lesson, my children. I, I don't know if I read this um, to you. It was in my tablets. And a I, I, well, lesson that I learned was, um, I said, remember my children, never speak of words you don't know, for our words will always be held against us. Okay? Remember that, my children. Never speak of words you don't know. For our words will always be held against us. That's why in occult teaching it says, never say a word, you don't know what it means. Never. Because you don't know what you're saying. You don't know what you could be saying. With all the misguidance out there, you know, you never know. Remember I told you, there's a lot of, there's a lot of honey traps, my children. A lot of honey traps in occult. You gotta be careful, man. You know, then remember what I was telling you. There's other hierarchies. You know, I don't know if I said this or not. I mean, I said so much stuff, I forget what stuff I said, but I think this is an important thing that people should realize, is that, remember I told you that some of these you know, spirits that people refer to as demons are just people that did unbelievable great things in their life, you know, led armies and found favor with the Lord, you know, found favor with him, and he was impressed with, you know, the things they did in their life, so he bestowed great things upon them, you know. So they're just people, okay? And then when they're alive, they fought wars against other people. Well, guess what? <laughs> Those other people died too. And now they're still enemies, but they're in the spirit world. Okay? It's important things, you know. So that's where you get in trouble, you know. You go... You're dealing with one pantheon, then you go to another pantheon, and they, so, and they, you know, well, you know, then that's how you get hurt because they know that you're loyal to that pantheon. Then they, you know, or what I said too in the Illuminati liars, uh, I said uh, that um, spirits will lie. You know, 
That's what I wasn't even really. That was another ignorant thing for me to say. They call them liars because, you know, one thing I firmly believe is, you know, whether you're a dirtbag or not. I mean, uh, if you're sincerely walking the crooked path, you're ser sincerely doing your best to develop spiritually. Uh, we're never supposed to just um, to. Um, Um, slander against that's not the right word but we're never supposed to look uh, slander against someone like who's sincere, sincerely in their development you know and like I said these people could be disillusioned my children you know, we gotta look at all the angles remember children always look at all the angles wait a minute well what's the story from this side what's the story from that side that's like I said you know yeah Katy Perry pissed me off wearing that yellow box and all that shit but you know, she could be. She could have been threatened. She could feel, you know, like her life is in danger. She could be scared. I mean, she's only a woman. It's not like she. She's a gangster who grew up in the ghetto of, you know, in a ghetto somewhere. You know, she. I don't, she probably grew up in. Who knows where the hell she? I don't even know where she grew up. Probably like Hollywood or some Disney World place. Well, I mean, I don't think there's parts of Hollywood that are pretty rough. I, I heard, but. I don't really know much about her, but that shit pissed me off, the yellow box. Anyway, so, you know, another thing I said, uh, a mistake is only a mistake if you become aware of it and correct the issue. For if not, it is just ignorance. Okay? A mistake is only a mistake if you become aware of the mistake you made and correct the mistake or learn from your lesson. You just continue on, then you're just being ignorant. You're, that's unacceptable behavior, as far as I'm concerned. Okay? All right, let's 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 get to Ezra chapter 3. Who knows how... Now, my children... Today is, I don't know if my watch is right, but today is the 4th, four, 4-4. Four, four. And tonight is the blood moon, okay? We're in Passover. Okay, rapture could happen any second. Any second, my children. Remember what I said, you know, people who get left behind. Remember what I said, you know, I believe the Lord. Don't forget, don't forget, I'm going to be with the Lord. Okay, what I always say, I believe everyone deserves a second chance. I'm, I think I'm more than a reasonable person. Yes, I'm upset with the Jews and these people that, because we we, we all should be upset with them. I mean, they're the wolves that surround us, my children. They're the ones that we, that we talked about in the Bible. Don't. What about? Let me. Want me to quote some scripture here? I could just go on and on. You know how many scriptures in here about the Jews? Know that after I'm gone, wolves will, savage wolves will come in amongst you. Uh, they are the clouds without water, blown about by the winds, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, I could just go on and on. There's so many scriptures relating to those dirtbags. You know. That's why the Bible contradicts itself. That's how you know it's when the Bible is completely manipulated <laughs> you know what I mean one well here they're talking shit about the Jews and over here they're taking all oh, Jews great Jews Jews you know you gotta see this shit my children all right let's get to chapter three I'm right oh my god nine minutes already oh it's gonna take all night okay chapter three and when the seventh month was come and the children of Israel were in the cities the people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem. There we go, more Jerusalem. Then stood up Joshua. Jeshua. See, now they say Jeshua. I don't know. Jeshua, Joshua. It must be two different people. I don't know. You know, I'm no Bible scholar, my children. Yeah, I read the Bible, but I don't sit here and study it. I'm going over this the first time in years, so... You know, don't think I'm sitting over here, like, preparing a lesson for you, you know, no. I'm, I'm reading it right now. It's the first time I read it in about, I don't know how many years, all right? So, 
Just bear with me, all right, my children? Bear with me. I'm going to do my best. That's what I'm always doing, my children. I'm doing my best to figure everything out for us. For for us. Everybody. <laughs> Not just me. Not just for the devotees. Because the devotees don't even need me. They don't need me. I'm not doing this for the devotees. I'm doing this for the people who are without. Doing this for the people who are without. The people who are confused. The people who are misguided. The people that don't understand. You know. I know most people are not going to watch this shit till after I'm gone and people finally realize that I am really who I am. But it doesn't matter. I mean, that's the way it always is. I told you. I want to say it again. We're never the teacher of the day. We're always the teacher of the days to come because every time we come, Nobody believes what we, nobody can accept the information because they're so full of the three things. That's why you can't accept information. That's why you can't accept me. That's why. Plus, you got the virus. You know what the virus does, so I'm not going to repeat it. Okay. Oh, boy, I'm just rattling up a storm. Then stood up Jeshua, the son of Josedak, and his brethren, the priests, and Zerubbabel, son of Shotiel, and his brethren, and builded the altar of the God of Israel to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God. See, this burnt offerings, that's some kind of like burnt offerings. That's not like burnt animals. That's something else. Burnt offerings. It's probably incense. I don't know what that shit is. But they make it sound like they burn animals and slaughter animals, and I don't believe all that. What the hell would you... Why would you waste food and slaughter animals for no reason? Nah, nah. I don't, uh, see, I, I don't fall for all this, my son. You got to look, see through the lies. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, burnt offerings. Okay, here we go with the burnt offering bullshit. As it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God. And Moses, I don't even think Moses even existed. That's another made-up character. And they set it, set the altar upon his bases for fear was upon them because of the people of those countries. And they offered burnt offerings thereon unto the Lord. You know what they say about me and Lucifer, right? Michael and Lucifer, that Moses was our father. I don't know if you know the story of the two star children. <laughs> yeah, they say Moses was our father. Yo, that's part of the story. <laughs> I don't believe. Just like I knew it didn't exist. Just like Enlil didn't exist. It's just a bunch of made of horse pucky. <laughs> you know, only I could say shit like this. I mean, it's telling you, man. I don't even know why I'm laughing. The whole world's about to, everybody's about to die. I mean, what the hell are you going to do? It just be, I mean... You know, don't forget my children. I go to AA. I, well, I don't anymore, but I used to go to AA, you know. And, you know, they always say, uh, get off the pity pot. <laughs> hmm. They got a lot of good things. Oh, that's another thing, too. Oh, man, I'm, I'm just really going off the tangent here. Oh, boy. Well, this looks like it's going to be a long one, my children. Maybe you, you know, shut it off and go get a snack and come back get some juice. <laughs> Something healthy, though. Eat something healthy. <laughs> Go get an apple and sit down and peel it and cut it. That's what I do sometimes, you know. You get an apple and you peel it. You just make a huge project out of it. <laughs> it takes so long. By the time you're done eating the apple, you know, you forgot that you wanted to eat something because, you know, it took you half an hour to eat the damn apple. <laughs> All right. And they set the altar upon his basis, for fear was upon them because of the people of those countries. And they offered burnt offerings. There I go with the burnt offerings again, see? Burnt offerings thereon unto the Lord. I think that's just incense. That's probably what that is. They kept also the fe feast of tabernacles as is written and offered the daily burnt offerings by number according to the custom as the duty of every day required. Well, I mean, they could make an offering because, you know, the people had to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I mean, roast a cow or roast a pig to eat. I mean, that's a burnt offering, right? You could say a prayer. Say, this is for the Lord. This is for you, Lord. But we're going to eat it. 
we gotta eat. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> and afterward, offer the continual burnt offer. Oh boy, you know it's just burnt offering after burnt offering. I mean. <laughs> They're having a hell of a burnt offering feast over here. Both of the new moons. Oh, here we go, moon. See? Told you, tonight's blood moon. Blood moon. Now we're talking about moons. <laughs> and all, <laughs> and of all the set feasts of the Lord that were consecrated, and of every one that willingly offered a free will offering unto the Lord. From the first day of the seventh month began, you know, and a lot of these days and dates that's um like secrets <laughs> you know it's a lot of they don't you know they don't need to put all these you could tell they put like extra days in there and extra for no reason you know that's a lot of like some secret you know there's alchemy in here too there's alchemy in here there's Jew virus scum uh what do you call them? Incantations in here. It's like a whole thing's like a spell. Yeah, real talk. Go ask a Bible scholar. He'll tell you. Well, I don't know. I'm a. I'm surprised the Bible scholars didn't see the stuff I saw, but maybe they did. I just never heard them talk about it. Okay, so from the first day of the seventh month, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. They gave money also unto the Masons. The Masons. See? Masons. And to the carpenters, and meat and drink and oil unto them of Zidon, and to them of Tyr, and to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the sea of Joppa, according to the grant that they had of Cyrus, king of Persia, Persia is Iran. You know that, everybody. Okay? Persia is Iran. Now, that's where Tyr was, was in Iran, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? Cyrus is in power. They were in Persia. This is all the same place. This is all the same time. Okay? Ezra, Haggai, and Zechariah, right? Well, I'm sure you probably figured that out by now. <clears throat> now, in the second year of their coming into the house of God at Jerusalem, in the second month, began Zerubbabel, the son of Shiltiel, and Jeshua, the son of Zo jo Josedach, and the remnant of their brethren, the priests, and the Levites, and all they that were come out of the captivity into Jerusalem and appointed the Levites from 20 years old and upward to set forward the work of the house of the law. The Levites. Okay, the Levites were there. Uh, then stood Je Jeshua with his sons and his brethren, Cadmiel and his sons, the sons of Judah, mixed together to set forward the workmen in the house of God, the sons of Hadadad. Okay, something just came to me. Uh, I'm sure you're aware that I have already stated that our dimension will be, well, we're going to have all the dimensions, but I would imagine primarily we're going to go back to where our Lord has things set up for us, you know. So, think about it, my children. Uh, I think they are in the Lord. They're in the Lord's house, okay? They're not in this house, which means they're in the fourth dimension, building the Lord's house. I believe this could be taken place in or what you know is hell but it's not really it's just uh, another earth really it's ten earths you know I already told you guys that but I don't think the light is the same you know lighting is different you know things are different but basically that's what it is ten earths 
Okay. So yeah, they could be in another dimension, my children, because that's exactly what we're doing. We're not going to the dumb dumb dimension. Hell no. Nah. We're going right to our dimension and fix our shit up proper like. Then we worry about that dimension. I already got plans for that anyways. So, you know, it's always going to be our one of our concerns, but, you know, we got to take care of our place of dwelling first. And that's what they're doing. They just came back. Okay? It stands to reason that that's where they are. They're not in where we are now. They're not in the fifth dimension. They could be in the fourth dimension now. Okay? Levites. Okay, I'm not... I forgot who those people are. Then stood gesture with this... Okay. Then, and when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, they set the priests in their apparel with trumpets, and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals, to praise the Lord after the ordinance of David, king of Israel. And they sang together by chorus. Okay. They sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord because he is good for his mercy endureth forever toward Israel. Oh boy, Israel again. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and Levites and chiefs of the fathers who were ancient men Ancient men. Nah, it sounds like something there, my children. Ancient men. Chiefs of the fathers who were ancient men. And that's got to mean something there. That had seen the first house when the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes. Wept with a loud voice. Oh, okay. Those are people that came back and they said... They're talking about the difference, you know, from before and now. So they wept with a loud voice, and many shouted aloud for joy, so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people, for the people shouted with a loud shout, and the noise was heard afar off. Okay, that's chapter 3. Um, yeah. You know, they could be, they say they're in the house of the Lord. And we all know that the Lord is not in this world. The Lord is not in this world. Okay, this is, this is our world. You know, his world is, well, he's got many worlds under his control. It's more than one world, but you know what I mean. All right. So, hey, that's kind of, you know, Another thing I never heard any Bible scholars talking about is another thing. Of course, they probably, you know, government probably told them to lie on purpose. You know, they don't want the truth to get out. All right, my channel, I'll let you go. That's uh, chapter three. Ezra, okay. We got, what do we got? Chapter four, five, six. Ooh, this is a long one, my children. Seven. Oh, boy. What did I get myself into? Eight, nine. Oh, look what's after Nehemiah. Oh, I think we got to look at Nehemiah. But we might get raptured tonight, so we'll have to have Bible study on the spaceship. <laughs> I'm going to rectify, when, when I get on the spaceship, I'm going to rectify the whole Bible. And another thing, too. Oh, boy, I'm really carrying on. Another thing, too. Uh, I decided that when we come back, we're going to go and trace our heritage. Okay. We're going to go to Ireland. We're going to check out all our castles, see if they're still standing. Maybe even rebuild a few. Okay? Just for ha-has. We don't, I'm sure we're going to have all kinds of technology. We're not going to have to live in castles, but what the hell? Let's do it just for ha-has. I mean, fix the shit up and have a big party in there or something. <laughs> you know, why not? be kind of cool to be chilling in a castle, I think. I don't know about y'all. And we got a whole bunch of castles. I put them on the Google Plus. Gentile castles. It said Gentile Majesty. I showed like 15 different castles on there. 
know. I know Google Plus goes, but you put something on there, and 10 seconds later, it's 100 miles down the road. I mean, <laughs> a lot of people putting stuff on there. All right, my children, rapture. Rapture could happen any time, man. We're in Passover, blood moon tonight. My birthday's coming up. And then what about the 2200 days? All these uh, mastermind numerology Bible people saying the 2200 days are up or something soon. Seven or 777 what? Days from the Feast of Trumpets or something to that effect. A lot of prophecy, much a lot of people prophesizing out there. You know, and at first I was like, ah, oh, these are speech bad termites, and then I thought, eh, maybe not. I mean, if some of the people are like, they, they look pretty sincere to me. I mean, I understand. I'm sure the speech bad termites can be very convincing, but. I mean, I would think that our Lord loves us, and I'm sure he probably knows that we're anxious and that, you know, we looking forward to our rapture and being with him and our hierarchy and our great spirits of wisdom and our helpers and our denizens. And, you know, we're looking forward to that. He must, he knows we're looking forward to that. And maybe he is giving some, you know, some guidance and some comfort to more people than I thought. You know, remember what I said. It doesn't matter what you're encompassed in. If you're in a church, if you're in a mosque, if you're in a temple, if you're wherever, what the hell are you doing? If you connect with the 182 current, you're connected with the 182 current. Okay? It's that simple. That's why there's people in church that are really actually connected with our Lord. These are some of the people that believe are getting some uh, attention from our by our law, from our law hierarchy too. Remember, it's not just our law, my children. You know, we're a team. We're a team. We work together, man. You know, it's not just the Lord, not just the Lord. It's everybody together. You know, we're a team. That's why I said. Uh, uh, we are of the brave and true, and united we stand. And united, unity. It's all about unity, my children. You know, unity. Something which I failed at. Failing. Miserably failing. I failed. I'm failing. Nobody, no devotees stand at my side. You know, nobody. I haven't even seen any. At all. I saw one guy. He looked like he might be a devotee. He gave me the horns. He had an Iron Maiden t-shirt. I said, this guy's got to be, he's got to be at least halfway cool. I mean, he got an Iron Maiden t-shirt on. <laughs> all right, my children. All right. It's going to take a long time to upload. Hope the phone doesn't blow up. All right, well, come back and do Ezra 4, I'm, you know, it's still early tonight, I could maybe do it, do it shortly, I could use the old, the other little ghetto phone I got, <laughs> well, alright my channel, I'll let you go, I love you, see you later.